What up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name's Alex and I've been living in this van with my girlfriend Megan for about six months. We just got back from Baja, Mexico and our suspension is totally clapped out. So since we're kind of creating this, you know, two wheel drive off-road van home of our dreams, we decided that we we're going to upgrade the suspension to a three inch Welltech Designs spindle lift. Since we're on the road, I had to do it on the road. So I got a buddy's driveway and have some basic tools. And uh, yeah, I installed the whole lift. So that's what this episode is. Come along for the ride, because it gets, uh, well, pretty wild, I guess. We are Alex and Megan, or as we like to call ourselves, the Slow Roamers. We live and travel in our adventure van in search of epic landscapes, delicious food, and all of the experience we can get our hands on. Hop on in and join us for the ride. Well, good morning. <clears throat> that was a horrible night. <laughs> We are parked here at the shop in San Diego, and um, the guys beside us... Hi, uh, Rager! Well, apparently you got some sleep. <laughs> they decided to have a party until like 3 in the morning, so I think I have like 3 hours of sleep. Because they are literally right there beside the van. Let's get started on lifting Betty. All right, it is uh, install time. I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I've purchased here, what we're doing to Betty today, and um, and we're just gonna get after it. So what we have here is a Welltech Designs three inch spindle lift. So right here, these spindles will completely replace the spindles that are currently on the van. And the beauty of these is what they do is, it is, the factory measurements for your normal spindle but what they've done is they've taken the hub location and just moved it three inches down so what that means is that the factory control arm angle just stays completely factory and that means that it is as the engineers intended um, it's the best possible control arm angle for the for the van it uses the proper amount of travel on the shock and just keeps the factory ride which that's something I really wanted to get back to. And uh, yeah, and then of course, if you look at the workmanship of these things, they are beefy. This time around, we're just doing a, a three and a half inch lift block on the back. I wanted a little bit of a rake on the van, and um, so I went for a slightly bigger block. When we do the rest of the mods on Betty, so Betty's gonna get a lot heavier with all of the modifications. So I wanted to be sure that I could weigh the back end before going with a full progressive leaf pack from Welltech Design. Um, so yeah, that'll be after the summer when we come back down to California. And last but not least, the Fox Performance Shocks. These are gonna do a huge amount of dampening on the up travel when we go over bumps and should really calm down the back end. If you've been watching any of the off-road videos that um, I've put up recently from Baja, you'll have noticed that the back end of Betty really bounces around. And um, it's not really good on all of the parts on the van, so I've been looking forward to these shocks since the day that I blew the shocks on the MEX-18. So, yes! Also, the other beautiful part of this lift is that you can do it all with relatively simple tools. All I have are jack stands, uh, floor jack, impact gun, socket set, and a few other odds and ends, and I should be able to do this lift. So first things first, let's uh, get the rear end up off the ground and back wheels off. I 
I liked how easy that worked. Alright, that's one side done. Pretty easy. Took me uh, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. So, on to the next one. So you can see the clearance in the rear is considerably more. I mean, it's a full inch and a half higher, but yeah, I like it. Looks a lot better. And it looks like with one inch more up front, it should be perfect, exactly where I want it, which I always love that. <laughs> There you have it, it's really as easy as that. That second side probably took me 10, 15 minutes. Not very long. And uh, yeah, I was able to do it obviously way quicker because I knew exactly what I was doing. Uh, still gotta put the shocks in and tighten everything up obviously, but I will do that once um, I get the front end done. So I'm gonna get some food and then get after the front end. After taking off the front wheel, I found uh, why I have an ABS light on the dash. This has been rubbing up against the rim and uh, there's no longer a ground or a uh, hot. So I might just need to um, buy a new cable or do a fix on this at some point. Just see my fix here from when I was in Baja. I had to make a uh, bushing out of an old tire. All right, so I've taken the shock out and now I'm taking the sway bar link out. So now the lower control arm can drop out. If you've watched the installation video that Wildtech Design did, Jeremy tells you to make this out of brake line. I don't have any brake line, but I do have straps, so that's what's going to happen, folks. Now I can hang that. See the board. There it is. For my next trick, I will release the upper ball joint. Just so everyone knows, um, I have a two inch spacer in here right now that I'm taking out. That's why I have to drop everything away. All right. I'm gonna take off the rotor, just hold it in place. Okay. It's gonna get it a little bit lighter for you. Okay. Oh, there we go. There you have it. That's the old spindle. Now we just gotta remove these four bolts, switch the hub over to the new spindle, and then put the new spindle on. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> All right, that is the new spindle. Look how beefy that is. That's a problem. Well, I just walked over to the shop across the street and asked them if I could use their impact, but they're like, nope. Uh, so I'm gonna try the breaker bar method and just uh, hope that I don't break anything or twist it off. I already checked, new hubs are $95 or $159 at uh, AutoZone, so let's see what happens. Without breaking the bolts, because I really didn't want to replace 
entire hub just because I had some bro broken bolts. While I'm at it, I'm also going to fix this ABS line because Cody happens to have uh, some electrical stuff that I can use. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Spacers out. Yeah, this is the really challenging part. This is the one that I have not been looking forward to at all. Getting the coil back into place. Hey Meg, can I get your help again, please? Try not to be under the van at any time. Oh. I'm good, thanks, though. So we're pretty much at the last thing here. Um, I just have to put the tie rod back in and then we should be good to go. There you have it. And that spindle is installed. And you can see that it is back to the factory control arm angle like intended. I'll be putting the shocks in soon. Well, that um, that one spindle probably took me about two hours to do by myself. It's a little bit sketchy. Um, I'm not gonna film the whole thing uh, on the other side just because I've already shown you guys what I've done. Well, this is the second side. The breaker bar didn't work. WD-40 isn't getting through it, so we're adding a little heat break this last bolt. This is the only thing holding me back from finishing. Now that we're waiting for uh, the WD-40 to work, um, I'm gonna take the rear shocks out and put in new ones. Last time I did it, I'm gonna set this down too. This is all exciting. That's a thin shock. I love how much space is under these things to work. It makes it so much easier. Come on. Right. <clears throat> Come on. <sighs> That right there is well built shock. I like it. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, if she wasn't a monster truck before, she fucking is now. Oops. Sorry, I swear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Well, fourth and final shock. I'm so pleased with Fox. They gave us stickers. We have four now. Stickers yeah, are the way stickers. to his heart. <laughs> <laughs> and food. Cheap date. Look at the size of those bushings on the top. That's what I like to see. Big old chunky bushings. Well, <laughs> I think it was uh, like eight or ten hours ago that I started the lift and I'm finished. <laughs> the sun is going down and um, now we're eating dinner. What a day. Tomorrow we leave San Diego and we're going straight to the mountains to test this thing out. Well, we've left the confines of the driveway. We're out on the highway now. The van seems to be driving really beautifully and it's, there's a real noticeable difference already on the highway, which is awesome. Uh, we just gotta run the gauntlet of interstate through San Diego and Eastern LA before we can make it to the wilderness. And uh, yeah, we're on our way to Trump and Pinnacles. So it's probably a little bit early to give a review on the performance of the suspension, but what I can say is that there is definitely a noticeable difference. Now, granted, uh, our suspension was completely clapped out by the time we made it back from Baja. It was really, really bad. But just driving driving down the highway, driving in here to Toronto Pinnacles, it was really smooth and there's an obvious dampening effect with the new fog shocks. And then of course, because we're back to a um, factory control arm angle, it feels like we have way more suspension. I'm kind of into that because it means we can bomb those roads just way faster. Overall, I'm really, really happy with how easy the installation went. I have like a reasonable mechanical history, which gave me the confidence to do this by myself. And I had had the entire front end apart previously because when we, Went into Mexico about uh, two and a half months ago. Um, we replaced t 
top and bottom control arms, tie rods, uh, all of that. So everything kind of came apart really easy. Um, the only thing that really gave me any kind of trouble were just the four bolts on the hubs. And um, as you guys saw, I eventually got those off with a little bit of heat, a little bit of WD-40, and then a lot of patience. Overall, I am extremely happy with this so far. I'm so stoked on the amount of clearance that we get underneath the front... Uh, I was going to say front diff, but this is a two-wheel drive van. Yeah, I would highly recommend. WildTech Design does a really, really great job. This is not a paid promotion. Um, I do have this fancy hoodie that they gave me, but uh, yeah, really, really good stuff. I strongly suggest it. If you have a two-wheel two-wheel drive van and you want to, you know, maybe push its limits a little bit, but you want a little bit better clearance, definitely go with this. I think this is probably the very best option for uh, a suspension lift that is not super invasive, easy to install, but um, gets you, you know, quite a bit higher off the ground and it allows you to put on bigger tires. So yeah, that is my honest review of this lift thus far. Again, you know, I haven't really driven it around a whole lot, but I'm sure I'm going to be pleased at every corner. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, until next time, remember to keep on roaming. Later.